You get to start optimizing your Facebook personal profile for success. What does that mean? We've already talked about in the launch phase that we're going to utilize our personal profile as our main, like it's our main, I'm missing a word, asset. Thank you, self. I just answered that question. It's our main asset that we have out on social media. Because most of us do not have a business page already. You do not have your own group yet, right? We did not teach you to do that stuff yet. If you did, you opted into that because you, you chose that you were ready for that. But in the beginning, we don't teach you to go do all the things. We teach you to work with what you already have, to work with the warm market that you have, to work with the Facebook presence that you have, and to start learning how to get into conversations, okay? Just to remind you, if you don't feel confident yet in how to have conversations, if someone says, yes, I'll take a look at your business, hey, I have some curiosity about that. If you don't know how to move forward with those conversations, you're not ready yet for what I'm about to share. And I think this is super important. I'm going to teach you how to set your Facebook page up to meet more people. So if you have not yet learned how to work with conversations with the people you already know, that's where your warm market comes in. That's where the, the, you know, the posts that you've been doing in your first 30 days on the Facebook page that you haven't changed a whole lot to or anything yet. If you haven't learned how to start some conversations, please go back, talk to your upline, because if I gave you 50 people right now to have some conversations with and five people that wanted to start your business, if you're not uber confident in what to do with them, you're not ready for the next step. What you should have learned in the first 30 days, you don't have to be the expert. You're a resource, you're a connector. So if I gave you 50 people and they had interest in your healthy living program, your skincare, your makeup, but you don't have all the details, that's okay. You learned in your first 30 days that you need to connect them with the information, get them a third party tool, connect them with your upline, right? Don't be the expert. If you had a new business get partner get started, same thing. Connect them with your upline. Get them plugged into this training. If you understand that, you're ready to meet some more new people. Let's jump into it. Let's optimize your Facebook page to start attracting more people to you. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to Facebook. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and log into the new one because depending on when you're watching this video, you may or may not have access to the old Facebook or classic Facebook anymore. We might have had to end up on the new one. So let's assume that when you optimize your personal profile for success, you have decided to use your personal Facebook as a way to draw attention or brand yourself to create curiosity, to get people to understand that there's something you have to offer and to set it up so that they don't have all the answers, but they're left with questions. So they actually need to reach out to you in order to get those answers. You will not use the company's name on your Facebook page. You will not show the company's product labels. You will not say the company's name in your post because when you do that, and you should have learned this in your first 30 days through the posting guide, but if not, this is your mastery phase. This is where you really get to make sure you understand the reason behind this. If this just says Kathy Callahan, independent consultant for Arbonne International, what does that really mean to the person who doesn't know Arbonne? Nothing, okay? What does that mean to the person who maybe has heard of it, but has assumptions that prevents them from being willing to look at it, okay? And what does that mean for the person who's interested, sees a post on your wall, sees that you're with a company called Arbon, and just goes to Google it, which means they could either find out something good or bad based on, because the internet says everything, or they can just find out how to shop directly at Arbon and they no longer need you. So please understand when we set your page up for success, I don't want people to have all the answers. I want them to be left with some questions. That's why they need you, okay? The only person who can really get by with saying like, I'm an Arbonne independent consultant, here's the products I sell, you should go buy them too, is a person that really has a high level of influence, which for the most part is not us, okay? Like the normal person, I mean, unless you're super high social media influencer coming in with a big following already, 
then you could say what you do and say, hey, y'all need to join me and they're all gonna do it. Most of us have to create curiosity. So when you set up your page, you're not gonna have that you're a, a consultant with our run. That is just what I recommend based on the ways that I'm teaching you to build a business on social media, okay? We're going to have a nice profile photo that is your smiling face without sunglasses, without your kids in the photo, not your whole body, shoulders up, okay? I did this one in the backyard with my phone on a timer while the kids were napping. Then we're gonna leave it alone and not change that personal profile photo for six to 12 months. So make sure you like that photo. Why? Because if you're out here building a business on social media, you're starting to meet new people, which we're gonna do later in this um, launch phase or this mastery phase two, okay? We are going to be starting to have people associate our profile with this picture. So we're not talking your best friends and family and sister and mom. We're talking people that kind of like know you-ish, like maybe you're the girl who did the party last Tuesday that they were invited to, but they don't really know you yet. And they're kind of maybe watching what you're posting. They're really going to associate you with that photo. So you don't want to change it a lot. Now, what you can change is your cover photo. And if you're brand new into social media and this is like your big learning curve, that's okay. You'll get comfortable with it. We're going to leave this one alone. If you're not sure which one to post, send it to your upline and say, hey, here's a couple photos I took. Which one do you suggest? Okay. Post it in the team group, whatever you want to do. The cover photo you can change as often as you want. Now, I did this in a training before. I'm going to show you some past cover photos just so you can see like you have options. You don't have to stick with like a picture of your friends. You can rotate through. So here's some different cover photos I've had. Changing up your cover photo is a way to keep your um, personal page like personal, but also business, but also inspirational, whatever you feel like in the moment. So this one was a recent photo at an um, event at Sherry's house. For a while, I had this one, and I'm not going to open these up real big because when I do that, it messes up the, um, the, the page I'm in. But, you know, I had like a business one with a collage that I made in Canva, canva.com. Anybody can do that. Here's some quotes I had at one point. I don't know, for a while I had a little drawing. I had a Christmas photo. Y'all get the point. Like you can rotate through different cover photos and that can kind of make your page be a little bit more unique. And then you're, you know, cause you, you get stuck feeling like, oh, I need to update my page. Change your cover photo. Don't change your profile photo, okay? When people see you in Messenger and when they're scrolling through any posts that you put out, they're only gonna see the profile photo. So we're going to talk in the next training about your marketing message, and I want it to be something that I really can give you clarity on, but just so you understand that once you get your marketing message, your I help statement down, this is where it's going to go. It's going to go in the bio section of your personal Facebook profile, okay? So in the next training, you'll learn how to create this I help statement, like what yours should be. When you're ready to come put it on your Facebook profile, you're going to edit this section of sometimes people have like dog mom, you know, entrepreneur, or maybe you have nothing because you've never done anything with your page. We're going to change this to an I help statement right here. Okay. A couple other things that we're going to do is we're going to talk about where do we really want to be driving traffic. And this will come up in the next trainings. Do you, are you going to like be making your own group during this mastery phase? Um, sometimes not yet, but you might be driving traffic to our party group, or maybe you really like utilizing the clean eating crew because healthy living is really your thing and you want that to be your value group. Um, maybe you have created, which I would not suggest, but maybe you have created um, a website or a business page, and I'm just not suggesting that yet. I kind of like to save that for phase three, which is when you're really ready to add on things. This is where we're getting really good. So when we, when we talk about like, where's the one place that you want your Facebook page to funnel people, when I start talking about that, that is where you're going to have that. This is where it's going to show up on your personal page. This is going to be the one place we really want when people come in to lead them to. It could even be an email list. Um, some of that might be more like mastery um, slash ad phase. So don't worry if you're unsure. We're going to break that down. But I want you to know this is where it's going to show up. And we're only going to link one thing. 
And then we're gonna do your feature photo. And you might already have nine photos here and not realize that that's your featured photo because maybe Facebook just automatically picked. So some of you have a grid and this is nine photos. You can actually change that to one photo. And when you only choose one photo, it makes it really big. What we're doing here is when somebody comes in, it does look different on the phone. It actually keeps your cover photo, your profile photo, your, your biography, your um, website, and your featured photo, they all go just straight down in a line. So they actually see this side doo -doo 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 first before your other posts. When someone comes over to your page, they're a friend of a friend, they're somebody that you met in a group, they're a guest from a party, they instantly are like, okay, I understand who this girl is and what she does and how she can help me. And I even know where I should go to get more information on that. That's the end of this training. That's what optimizing your personal page will do, okay? So this is the point. We want to help people understand who you are, how you can help, leave them with some questions so that they need to reach out to you. And maybe they just sit silently in the background and watch you for a while because they're still not quite sure what it is that you do. And then sometime they come around and post on a comment, a comment on a video or a, a post that you did. And then you can reach out to them and say, hey, I saw you commented on my post. I would like to tell you a little bit more about that energy drink that you asked about. What interests you about it the most? Okay, well, that's not a business post right there, is it? Um, so that's how this is going to be going down. All right, next training, we go into your marketing message and we're gonna help you write your um, I help statement. So I'll see you in the next training. Oh, you know what I gotta say, bye for now.